Manshari. Hello, everyone. This is how we say hello, everyone, in my language. Manshari. Baite, 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 mira no rotawara, hoi hoi aina deu no. Ambareza uni ini uno wana baite, baite ra baite, ho. Oi, 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 um, My name is Nishiwaka, and thank you very much for having me. What I just did, um, this is how we say thank you, thank you for nature. Talking about nature, I feel very um, proud to be here and to represent my people, um, tribal people, their animals, birds, and nature. We live in in nature. Um, and the reason that I'm here is to talk about the importance la um, of land for tribal people, the importance of land for tribal people. Um, the first time I came to London was in 2010. I I didn't speak any anything in English, so it was quite hard, and uh, I was also I was shocked by the weather, <laughs> very cold, <laughs> um, and then I everything is different. It's another world many people, especially in London, beautiful city. Um, and I went to a school, so I studied um, the English language. And then my colleagues, they were all looking for a job. Um, and they also started looking for a job. And then I found a job as a waiter, and um, I learned how to make coffees. I was selling lots of coffees. <laughs> I learned how to do heart and coffees <laughs> and leaves. So I, w I was one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> and just the, that moment helped me a lot to improve my English and communicate with people was through my first job. Um, and then it was like for a year, um, I was tired of making heart, but I was enjoying. And then I felt this feeling, um, something was touching me, touching my spirit uh, and say, there was, uh, it was saying, Nishwaka, you need to do something else um, now. You're ready to move on. Uh, and that was my grand grandfather. He passed away two years ago. And when, before I came, he saw me here. He said, do go and behave, do good things. Uh, and he was telling me, my ancestors, 
So I was, uh, okay, I need to find something. And then, what? What am I going to do? Um, but because in Brazil, as many tribes, we had problems and struggle to survive because of our land. And my ancestors were the same. Um, and my people, we fought hard to get our, the right on our land. Um, and then I always wanted to do something when I was living in my tribe. Travel, discover, discover um, this world. And um, I met a friend. He is one of Survivor International supporters. Supporter. Uh, Survive International is the global movement for troubled people right in UK. Uh, it's based in London. Uh, and then he introduced me to Survival International. And I went to Survival. I was yeah, uh, talking with people. And then now I'm working for Survive International, um, representing my people, troubled people and tell, telling the, ish, the stories. Um, and then that's the reason I came to London to learn English and now doing good thing for my people and for nature. Um, where I come from is from the state of Acre in the, est, in the west of the Amazon in Brazil. Uh, we have a great connection with land Nature is so beautiful, um, but people, the majority, they can't see, they can't feel. So they, did, they, they, did, they need more time to understand. Uh, but nature is being destroyed very fast, when, especially in Brazil, lots of deforestation, uh, people dying, lots of disease. Um, in the past, we tribal people we didn't have the immunity for common cold and flu and others. So the whole tribe died. My tribe, we, around 50 years ago, we were only 200. Now we are over 900. So it's good. Um, because maybe three generations, we created the immunity for disease, common cold and flu. But in Brazil, Brazil is home for more than a hundred uncontacted tribe, which is their tribe, they had never had a contact with no one in the West world, even with us. When they see us, they shoot the arrows, they run away, they hide. They don't want to be contacted. Uh, and their life is in danger because the forest has been destroyed and they live in the rainforest. Um, and that's I'm here to talk for them because I think everyone, we have a choice, and this choice must be respected. Um, and we tribal people, we are facing problems because um, govern government, most of the time, and companies, corporations, um, they are not respecting our rights on our land, and when development, mining, construction of roads, dams, um, happen inside of our territory, it changes our way of life, it changes everything. And lots of tribal people, especially isolated tribes, they, they don't know money, they don't have money, and they don't want money. Why money? What's money? Um, they just want the land, they just want to live in peace, freedom. That's money, that's the best way they want and we want. But also having me, having the opportunity to live in here and, you know, I also enjoy the use of technology is helping us a lot. So in my tribe we have internet, we have one telephone box, uh, we can communicate. So there are good things from the West that we can use for, for our benefit through the education. And what I'm doing now is using the Western uh, culture for our benefits and to protect, protect nature. 
Uh, people talk a, a lot about the climate change and uh, we think the way we live, we can contribute uh, a lot for, to keep the balance of the natural environment and to keep nature, to keep this beautiful planet for our future generations. Um, but again, the majority of people, they have lost the connection with the land. Um, but now we are in a moment that we need to, to see each other and to understand and to respect. Uh, that applies for everyone. And the way we live, we always open, our heart is open to receive you in our land, to share our, the, how we live, to share our spirituality. It's something that we're still practicing, the use of, um, of this drink called mainly ayahuasca. It, it is something that you, you go further. You, you go further, but you go inside of you. You see yourself and your family. And that is very natural. But many people, especially um, people that is against us, it's this jog or something bad, but it's not. It's just nature. It's how nature operates. And we have this knowledge, we have this sacred knowledge that we want to keep. And when we see nature being destroyed, uh, our life is being destroyed. Our life is taken from out from us and we suffer. Um, the use of medicine plants, uh, we have shamans. Um, we have one shaman, he's more than 100, 100 years old. He's like this size. <laughs> and uh, he's cute. <laughs> and I hug him. He's a shaman. He, uh, and he knows about many, a lot of things about the medicine plants. And that knowledge we want, we are passing to our young people. And lots of uh, outsiders, they are coming, they are learning. They stay for a while, they enjoy. Um, we wear our headdress, we have a great respect. Like, like you, fi you, you buy your first suit, you go to a wedding, you, you special for you. For us, it's the same. And you, we wear only uh, on special occasions. Um, and now, we also have the influence of women. In the past, women, they were not allowed to be a, sh a shaman or leaders many years ago. Today, we have great women's leaders. We have, I have two aunts. She's, they are both shamans in my tribe, the first one. And I think that is the influence of the West as well. Um, and we also change. We are following this world. Many people say that indigenous people, they are backward, primitive. Uh, it's a disrespect to begin with, because we are not. Uh, we are just live differently. Um, and we live in the same time. We have developed this way or kept the way of living that last for, you know, forever, but we live, we die. Um, and that's a way that people can learn. I'm adapting living here, I'm able, so you do the same. But, you know, different minds. We, I don't think that we have enemies. We just have people that they are not really conscious and we need to show them. Um, and we share together this wisdom. Um, in Brazil, there are more than 300 tribes. Many of, many of them, they've been evicted and the land is, is Place for sugarcane plantation, soya. 
uh, Survivor International is campaigning for them. It's the only orga organization that works for the um, protection of tribal people. Um, and I'm with them. And there are lots of things to, th to say, to do here right now. I feel millions of people on my back telling me to show to the, the world nature and the importance of land for tribal people and for the whole planet. It's, it's us, it's yours. And people are not looking after, people are showing. And we are here to work together, to hug. Um, and I would like to say my great thank you for this opportunity. Um, and good luck to everyone. Thank you.